Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's preview. France versus Italy, the final fixture of round three. It'll take place in France at the Stade Pierre Mario, which is in also known as the Decathlon Arena, uh, which is in Lille. And uh, it'll host the uh, this clash. Um, and to be honest, it could probably be, could be quite a long day for Italy. It's a very strong uh, French side that has been named, and uh, they're trying to win the second place at the end of the day. They're going to need a favor somewhere along the line. Uh, they currently sit with one wins from two, and uh, obviously responded quite nicely after losing down to Ireland. But uh, if France are the main uh, candidates for the sixth stage, for example, they're going to need Ireland to slip up somewhere along the way. Um, so at the end of the day, they just need to go out and, uh, and get results and hope that Ireland do slip up. And uh, even though it wouldn't be a guaranteed thing, because Ireland have picked up two bonus points so far, so France need to go out and win by a bonus point, which they haven't been able to do uh, as of yet in the Six Nations. Uh, if we look at the results so far in the Six Nations, they um, beat Ireland, I mean, they were beaten by Ireland quite soundly, and then they beat Scotland, but very controversially. So, look, I think the French side is, is struggling, um, and I think that they're not quite where they were a year ago. And obviously, there's certain personnel they're missing. Um, and more than just Anton Dupont, I think that uh, Dupont Intermac access is, is what's really uh, missing from this French team. And it'll be interesting to see if they, how they can start sort of adapting sort of life without them. But before we look at the two sides, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. I'll start with the French side, which is uh, the home side. And the big news is that Pasolo Tuolagi, the absolute giant uh, young lock, will be getting his first ever start for France in one of a few changes in the pack. The front row, however, is unchanged. It'll be sealed by Piotr, um, Piotr Mavaka, as well as uh, Una Antonio. Cameron Wocky, though, however, has a different lock partner in the form of Pasolo Tuawagi. Uh, Paul Budden, they get to the start, which uh, means that Charles Oliver captains and Francois Croce remains in the side, but will shift to the number eight jersey. No Gregory Aldred involved this weekend. Uh, the back line, however, is unchanged. It is Maxime Luchu, Mathieu Jalabert, Luis Biabari, Jonathan Dante, Gail Fiku, Damien Pino, who, yeah, you know, needs to start getting scoring some more tries than we're used to. And then Thomas Ramos uh, in that 15 jersey. We all know how much quality he brings to this French side, especially from his boot. Uh, but then look at the bench. It is Julian Marchand, Sebastian Tuofafanua, and Dorian Altigueri in the front row. Remain Tuofafanua uh, is on the, the, the reserve lock. Alexandra Ruma is the um, uh, number 20 there. You then got Esteban Nabadi, uh, Nolan Agaric, and Oram Muafana. So the bench has stayed relatively consistent. Uh, get an interesting opportunity to see some of the French depth and uh, sort of see exactly you know who are the pay players backing up. Uh, sort of the usual suspects because we we're already seeing a bit of a drop in quality. Nothing against the likes of Maxime Lucci and Mathieu Jalabert, but they haven't got quite the same price a year ago with Romain Intermac and Anton Dupont. Now, for Italy, there was a couple of changes. Uh, in the front row, uh, Daniel Pachetti continues to start, but uh, Gilles Coman and Nicotero comes in, as does uh, Giazuzzo Lotchi in that front row. So we'll be interested to see how those two cope with that very, very impressive French front row. Uh, Nicola Canoni and Federico Razza continue their, their partnership. They're pretty constant in this Italian side, as is Michel Romario, your captain of the side. But uh, you've got Ricardo Favretto in the number six jersey and Rod Ross Vincent, the South African born Exeter number eight, who was working at job at Domino's when you I think I don't know if, I assume he's not still not uh, but was working his job at Domino's when he got called up to Italy as a student so a very very cool story go and read about that uh, you then got Martin uh, Pedro really get an opportunity uh, he will partner part got busy in the 9-10 pitting Monte Iwani, Thomas Minancello the two, the, the two wings which means Andrew Caputzo goes back on to, to full back Federico Mori will partner Jean Ignacio breaks this weekend off the bench it will be Jean-Marco Lecchesi Mirko Spagnolo, Simone Ferrari, Amatia Canali, Andrew Zabanon, Manuel Dulalani, um, Stephen Varney, and Nino Marin. So it is a 6 2 split for Italy, trying to sort of counter that really big French pack. And uh, for me, it's an opportunity for Italy to take a step forward. You know, Caseta is finding tough life like, quite tough at the moment. Uh, just into Italy, um, well, life in Italy, life as the Italian coach. But the big thing is they need to find progress. They need to become more difficult to beat, I think, is for me what their big goal should be at the moment. They still look very dangerous in attack. They still look very fluid with the ball in hand. But until they stop conceding as many points as they currently are, um, I think they're always going to struggle. And uh, if you look at it, you know, that first game, they looked pretty good. It looked actually as if they were potentially going to beat uh, England before throwing away it, really, to be honest. And uh, they then lost to Ireland pretty soundly, 36 points. Uh, to nil. So let me know what you think the score's going to be down in the comments below. Please do smash the like video on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. And I'll chat to you soon.